Hi guys, today I'm going to review the Dell Precision M3800 and if you look a little bit closer, it looks an awful lot like the Dell XPF 15, which I already reviewed a while ago and the main reason for that is it is basically the same model with two differences. We have a professional grade NVIDIA Quadro card in here and the storage configuration is different and that's also the main reason why I decided to skip the middle part, which is in-depth. So if you want to know a little bit more in-depth style about the display and everything else, go check my Dell XPS 15 review because in this video I will mostly talk about the differences and why you should maybe pick this one instead of the Dell XPS 15. So let's damn it. As I already told you, I want to skip the middle part and I will get right to the recap right now here, which is the starting point with the design and the build quality. We still have, as on the Dell XPS 15, the same great materials with aluminum and the carbon fiber at the bottom. Still the nice little design touches like the really nice beveled edges all around, which in this case sometimes felt a little bit better than last time. And also I have to mention the hinge this time works way better because you can actually open the device with one hand, which wasn't really possible on the XPS 15. So maybe there are a few differences, but I wouldn't say it comes with time because this device seems almost like completely new. And I think my review unit was absolutely new. So still the design is great. It is very lightweight, very solid, and it looks very premium. So this all, what was on the Dell XPS 15 is still the case for this. In terms of the display, we still have a PPS display with a 3K resolution 3200 by 1800. It is still super sharp, but still is not maybe MacBook 15 Retina level because it is no IPS, it is a PPS. And you will notice the difference. The viewing angles just aren't the same and the colors are a bit off if you look straight to the angle at the edges because it just isn't a uniform look. That's the maybe drawback of an PPS, but still it will do a great job because it still looks very good. It is very bright and still not very dim if you need that to, but it should be fine. Colors are still okay. The, the white is on the bit on the yellow side, but otherwise I'm totally fine with the display. But if you maybe are into graphics very heavy because this is also a professional grade graphics card integrated here. The colors maybe or the display isn't accurate enough if you need a maybe very good graphic editing capabilities of this display because it just isn't super accurate. As for the sound, also still the same issues. The speakers are at the bottom at the front. So if you have it on your lap, you won't hear any treble, no highs. You will only hear bass and mids. But since this is a kind of more of a desktop replacement and it is more of a workstation device, you will have it on your desk and then it reflects very nice. The volume is quite good. The overall bass response is okay. I still wish a bit more clarity in the highs because the sound overall feels a bit muffled and a bit narrow. It does have, doesn't have this immersive style of sound from the speakers outside of that. But since it is more of a workstation device, again, it should do a fine job. In terms of performance, you don't have to worry about anything because this thing is a beast. We have a very high clocked i7 and this should be no problem. If you want to do video editing, it is no problem. Due to the NVIDIA Quadro card, if there is such a big difference because between the GTX GeForce 750 and this one here inside, it's hard for me to tell. Video editing worked both on, great on both. Also, games were also still fine. And from all the research I, I did, the main difference is we have better OpenGL qualities on the NVIDIA Quadro, which should be better for CAD office software and, and such like this. Like if you are into graphics editing with 3D CAD, I don't use anything of that and I can't really say for sure that if there is such a big difference. On paper it should be and I'm pretty sure if you are into CAD and all those graphic intensive stuff and you need OpenGL capabilities, you should know if the Quadro is the better card for you. I sorry, I'm sorry I can't tell you because that's not my, reason, my part of the knowledge I have. But otherwise I can say you the browser runs fine, very great. All the modern UI apps of course, video editors, Normal pic video um, and photo editing works fine, no problem here at all. Let's get to the battery part right now and noise and heat. The battery itself is okay. It, you can get about four or five hours of solid use out of it. But yet again, since it is a desktop grade device, you will mostly have it on your charger anyways. 
and then we also don't have the issue because a full charge needs about i think it was about three and a half hours which is okay for such a 15 inch device this is okay in terms of noise and heat heat is no issue because if the hand the fans kick in and it sounds very good and in normal tasks for some reason the Dell XPF 16 was completely silent but this one here almost all the time was noticeable in terms of noise it was a very silent and pleasant sound and I'm not sure if it was the hard drive that was spinning all the time or it was the fan because in my in, from what I can say it sounded a lot like a fan and I'm not sure why it had to be on all the time because it didn't have to be on the Dell XPS 15 so if you want in most of the times cases a silent device you should get the Dell XPS 15 or maybe there is a software thing you can change but I couldn't get it to be completely silent but in a normal in a normal room with normal sounding you shouldn't really hear it out but if you turn on a video editor like I did with PowerDirector and you use all the full force while rendering the fans will kick in and you will definitely hear them. It doesn't get extremely loud, but it, it is a fan turning with a lot of RPMs anyway, so you will definitely hear it. It is not extreme, but for a pleasant work, it is too much. Compared to the Dell XP 15, still pretty much the same. So noise, heat, and everything about that is still pretty much the same as on the Dell XP 15 and nothing changed here. In terms of software still Windows 8.1 so there is no difference at all here. Any other bugs mostly all was fine. I didn't really run into anything. All the media buttons worked so this is fine. So right now I want to talk about the differences. Like I said in terms of performance we have the hard drive configuration which is different. We have still an SSD so the speed in terms of the SSD is pretty much the same and we have a, um, a spinning hard drive. So you get a bit more storage out of this because the Dell XPS 15, at least my configuration, had 512 gigs of SSD. This one has 240, but therefore you get on 500 gigabyte storage of spinning hard drive, which is also quite fast. So you should be at least safe on this side if you want something like that. The NVIDIA graphics card, the Quadro, like I said, it's hard for me to tell a difference. From my personal use, I didn't really notice a difference. And then you have to decide for yourself if it's worth the additional cost because this one is quite a bit more expensive than the Dell XPS 15 but as I said if you are into those stuff where you need a professional graphics card then you should get the precision but also I checked from research I heard the GeForce GTX is pretty much the same graphics card just with a few limitations and maybe you, some of you can even unlock them and have a Quadro card if you need something like that that's for that so which should you get if you are a normal user and you want to do video editing, photo editing and all the normal desktop st like stuff. I think the Dell XPS 15 will do the job just fine. No problems here at all because still it is a solid, very premium, lightweight and just pleasant to use device and with no big issues. The keyboard is very good. The mouse, the touchpad worked a bit better this time for multi-touch multi gestures. So I can't really complain. And I also got a question on, on the Dell X15 with you I want to talk about and it was the question why should I get this over a gaming laptop which has for the same price better specs and at least in my opinion and that's just my opinion you get a definitely more premium device with better overall qualities here. Of course the gaming performance isn't the same and the processing power because those also get higher CPUs and so on. So you pay for the premium, you pay for the lightweight, you pay for the nice design and in the and on the gaming laptops you get more raw power you get better gaming power and such stuff but therefore you maybe could lack in terms of display the devices mostly are way louder and definitely way cheaper build not in all the cases if you go higher you will definitely get also premium gaming laptops but for that price range you should get so that's for you to decide still i think they are louder they are bigger but if you are a gamer why should you get the XPS 15? If you need a very nice balanced all around desktop replacement then this thing should be fine because it is also very nice portable still for a 15 inch which a gaming laptop maybe isn't always in all the cases but if you are maybe more into business and professional I think this one just looks more appropriate than a gaming laptop. But that's it for this and I hope that I, all, I answered all the questions and as I said 
For more details check the Dell XPS 15 review where I go more in depth into all the performance stuff, the mouse, the touchpad, the display, the sound and the design overall. But I think this should cover all you need to know about this device and especially the differences if you didn't get them on the Precision M3800. So this was my review of the Dell Precision M3800. If you liked it please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions just leave a comment down below. And the review of the Dell Express 15, I will link it down in the description. So, until next time, bye.